Uh, so hello, I am Lotte de Beer. I am the director of The Pearl Fishers by Bizet. And The Pearl Fishers is a fantastic piece. Musically, it gives you everything. It's exciting, it's funny, it has the most amazing melodies, duets uh, that you will actually know, you know Bizet. Um, the most fantastic arias. And then it has a story which is rather funny, you can say. Um, there is a man, Zurga. And he's on the beach, uh, surrounded by a group of people. And he says, people, we have to elect a leader. And immediately they say, yes, Zurga, you will be our leader. And um, uh, uh, so he's just elected as leader. And then he says, hey, who's there in the bushes? Ah, it is my long lost friend, Nadir. Nadir, do you remember that we once fell in love with the same veiled woman? Hey, who is that woman in a canoe who is under a veil? So um, the librettists of this opera, when they heard the music, they said, wow, had we known that this music was so divine, we would have made a story that was maybe a little bit more coherent. Um, but that's actually where I thought um, we could find the strength. Um, what we do is we let this opera take place on a beautiful tropical beach um, where a camera crew comes in um, putting some fake uh, palm trees make, creating the perfect uh, surroundings for their real-life series. It's going to be an adventure show a la Robinson Island where they put three contestants on an island who don't know um, in which kind of real-life series they actually uh, have come. And um, there's Lila, this beautiful woman, who swears to the cameras that she will uh, only focus on the spiritual and forget the body and the romance and sexuality. Uh, and uh, she even says that if she doesn't do that, that uh, she will pay for it by death. And uh, what she doesn't know is that two of her exes are also on this island. Um, so we have three people who love, who fear, who hate, who... Uh, all those kind of real human emotions. And um, we see that they're in such a, a weird story because of the context of this, um, of this TV series. Um, and this gives us the opportunity to sometimes completely dream away in beautiful image of a moonlit temple or a sunlit beach. Um, but it also gives us the poss possibilities of, um, of uh, seeing a real uh, planned execution. And well, the main part of this opera is the chorus. We see the chorus as if they're sitting in their living rooms, uh, like you and me. They're watching TV, they're watching the show, and they are actually the power. They get to vote which contestant can win. And um, uh, uh, we see them in this, in this huge round structure, which sometimes is lit as if it's the moon or if, as if it's the sun and sometimes we see through it and we see them sitting in all their living rooms uh, voting for their favorite contestants, voting who will be the leader but also in the end voting for death. So I think it is an opera about democracy but also the dangers of, uh, of the blunt power of a group.